morning. Hi, is this the Kingdom Hall? Yes. Um, yeah, I was just doing some uh, phone witnessing. Do you have a minute? Yes. Cool. Um, can I share a scripture with you? At the Kingdom Hall? Sure. Awesome. I know you guys like talking about the Bible, right? Yes, we do. Okay. Well, I like to ask a little thought question with this one particular verse. Um, and the question is, uh, do you believe Jesus is the Messiah? Absolutely. I know, like I do too, right? Um, so the verse is 1 John 5, 1, and it says, Everyone believing that Jesus is the Christ has been born from God. Do you understand what that means? Yeah. Jesus do you, is God's mm -hmm. son. That verse isn't really about that. It just says that everyone... Believing that Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah, has been born yes. from God. Yes, so that, I wanted to, I want right. to, yeah, I wanted to ask you, are you born again? Only in a sense. There's two senses? Well, uh, Baptists think um, when they uh, receive Jesus that they're born again. And, uh, we're yeah, the Bible only... says that. Yeah, I don't know what scripture that is. Yeah, that would you're be, right, but yeah, that would be John. You're born again in, in a, a different sense that the really uh, the other religions think of, and, and how. Oh, oh where does the Bible? Right where does the Bible talk about a different sense? I never. I'd be really interested in seeing it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to. I, I, do I have a pen? Is there a scripture I could look at before you call me back to, to see about that different sense of born again? Um, um, I, I can't answer that right now. Well, um, that's a pretty basic I'll, I'll issue, isn't it? That. I mean, like, pardon? You're, you're saying that and you don't even have one verse I could kind of look at to I learn about? I don't have about a Bible that? in front of me. Well, I thought you talked I'm, about I'm, I'm not a Bible scholar yet. Oh, okay. Well, hey, yeah, check it out, and I'd love to uh, to learn about it. And what's your name? Christine. Christine, okay. Okay. So I know who I'm talking to. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks so much. Uh, we're, Maybe we can we're going, connect. Yeah, we're going out in field service right now. Okay. We're going on knocking on doors. I think you understand that. Okay. Are a lot of people That's home in the morning? Yes and no. Depends on where you go. Yeah. Okay. Hey, maybe we can talk again later. Very good. Thank okay. you. God Have bless. a good day. Okay, you too. Bye-bye. Hi. Um, is this the Jehovah's Witnesses? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. Um, I just have a quick question I was wondering if someone could help me with. And what's that? Uh, do you have a minute? Um, hold on just one minute. Okay. Let me get the brother to the phone. Brother... Hello. Hi. Um, is this Jehovah's Witnesses? I just have a quick question I was wondering if someone could help me with. Okay. Uh, what is it? Um, well, I was reading um, some stuff about, like, how does the organization work? Because I was talking to some ladies in a park um, last weekend. Um, mm -hmm. So it's about this, like, slave thing, like the faithful slave. And that's, like, the their leaders, like, like those, I don't know, is there like seven or eight of them or something like that? They're the faithful slave? Yeah, the uh, government body, yeah. Uh, they, they, they make up, they're part of the, uh, you know, the slave. Part of it? Oh, yeah, this is, <coughs> in other words, they, these are the, uh, as you saw, the heavenly class or the anointed brothers. Um, it's a long story. It sounds crazy just to hear it straight off the top once. It sounds crazy? Time. No. Wow, <laughs> that's a funny no, thing to I'm say. To you, it might sound that way to you, cause you you know you you just hearing right off the bat, you know, just like yeah, you to have yeah, but burger. but but isn't that kind of? I mean, you're right. It does sound crazy to me, and um, I've read the Bible like for for decades, and mm -hmm. so 
should stuff really sound crazy like right off the bat? But anyways, so you said um, you said they're part of. Are they part of the slave or are they the slave? Yeah, they they are. They oh, are they the are slave. the slave. And, and, okay. And, and, and. Um. So anyways, I was reading that parable in Matthew twenty four, and um, well, who's the evil slave then? I didn't know everything in there was somebody like right now like. So who's the evil slave? Well, those ones that deviated from the uh, from the truth. You know, they might have been a part of the slave uh, class at one time, but then they branched off. And, uh, oh, were, some some. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, okay. So it's. And you got that in every organization. There's people that branch off and start their own. You know. Uh, so, so you guys call them evil slave if they if they just because they like don't go to your um, kingdom hall anymore or something like that. Well, that then they're all they, evil slave. They, no, they change they change the, the scriptures and put them, and make it fit. Uh, you know what they are teaching is. Wow. Yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, all churches do that. <laughs> but it's not just Jehovah's Witnesses. It's all. What church? What what member? What, what, oh what, no, what? I I I'm not familiar with any church that would call people that leave that particular church um, evil slave. I don't know how you well, are I saying don't, all don't, of them yeah. do that. I mean, I don't know. I never heard that. But anyways, did, I was re- also reading that they used to call evil slave like the ones that wouldn't follow this guy named Rutherford. Um, mm-hmm. Look, ma'am, uh, I got to meet with a group here this morning. Oh, okay. I'm okay. on the elder here to meet. And uh, what you need to do with that is uh, let me get your name and number. I have a somebody can come by and talk with you on that. Oh, yeah. I don't live close enough to there. I just wanted to do a quick call and see what you thought, who the evil slave was. I mean, it's it's weird to me that the faithful slave is only seven people, but the evil slave could be like almost anyone just because they leave. I mean, how, how do you get that? How do you get that out of the, just those verses? Well, you know, what, that's what they, that's what they told you. The one that you talked to this, they told you all this, what you're talking no, about. No, 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 no. I was just looking more into it. And you, you, you were the one who said evil slave means all the people that leave Jehovah's Witnesses. And I don't, I don't see how the faithful slave could be just like eight people or seven or no. however many. And, and that no, everyone who leaves is evil slave. No, like, no. You know, Listen, you, you, you misinterpreting what I'm saying. Oh, okay, okay. What you, what you so, who is the evil slave then? It's well, I, right now, I'm gonna go meet with this group in here. Oh, okay, okay. Talk with you. Okay, no me. problem. Yeah, have a good day. You know? Hey, thanks. Bye-bye. Thanks for your help. Bye. Hello. Hello, Christina. Yeah, yeah. Hi. You called earlier. Yeah. Did, did I was talking to that other guy? Um, yeah. Yeah. Yes. I well, just he passed a message on to us. <laughs> oh, okay. To Great. Give you a call back. Thank you. And what was your question again? Um, well, my question was about um, I was reading some things on JW.org because some Jehovah Witnesses recommended it. Yes. Um, so I was reading, I was really interested in their little booklet about the Trinity. Okay. Um, and I was really surprised that they were. Uh, using for proof um, and support um, the early church fathers, some of them, on page 7. Um, okay, of that book. Yeah, yeah. And, and okay. the reason it, that's surprising me, I'm confused by that, is because in other places on the website, they're seeming to say that the great apostasy was set in already by by their time, like, 165, 200, 230, 250. Right. But here they're quoting them and saying they're leading, they were acknowledged to have been leading religious leaders and what they taught is of interest. So I don't know why it would be of interest if they were controlled by Satan, you know. Okay. Now I'm going to have to go back and get that book and, yeah. and look at those pages for you. Yeah, do you follow and, my question? Yeah, yeah, I do kind of follow your question. Yeah, because they, they because teach I'm, that there was no true Christians after the apostles died. Okay, but the question was... Uh, so why are they Trinity, quoting them? Okay, why are they quoting them? Yeah, for proof. Okay, okay. Are you, do you guys uh, read these guys, the early church fathers? Yes. You, you read them yourself? 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, whatever is there. No, 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 no. I mean, do you read them in their original context from the original, not just these little quotes, um, but do you read them for, do you relate to them as leading religious teachers or what? You're talking, talking about the, the earlier Christians. Am the I early church Christians? fathers. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, they're there for a reason. Okay. Yeah. So uh, we use those, uh, we use the whole Bible. We don't take portions of it, but of course those things, some of those things that took place at that time, of course, don't take place now. But those truths will lead down to, uh, from the old, testament down to the new testament yeah the early church fathers were at, were after jesus died and rose again so i'm, I'm not sure what these uh, these aren't quotes from the bible they're you know just commentary on the bible okay. and well, are you looking at jw.org yeah it's in the trinity book on page seven what my question okay. is is i don't know why they're quoting them for proof when they teach in other places that okay. they are Babylonish and apostate already after the apostles died. They're okay, but those, those were Christians at one time, but they turn apostate. No, that's a different issue. They're, they're just saying okay. that the early church fathers were already part of the great apostasy. That okay. Because they're trying to, um, they don't want you all to look at the early writings. So... Because if you do, you'll find out they taught that the traditional views that Christians have today on the, the major points of Christianity, you'll find that you wouldn't have any connection with them whatsoever. They didn't teach any Watchtower stuff, you know. Well, <laughs> let me, I'm going to go to that page. Yeah. And I'm going to give you a call back because I don't have it right in front of me because mm-hmm. The message that we got, it was concerning the Trinity. Well, right, not in particular, but why are they using these men that they believe weren't even true Christians? Because they, and if you, if you've never. It was page seven of the the, um, Trinity book. Yeah. And also for uh, trying to be um, reliable in in this booklet um they do not give the sources for where they're getting these quotes because most people would like to check right. these quotes it, it, and see it, it, and they do yeah, not okay. there's no there's no sources or page numbers where they're getting this they just said you know he said this and he said that okay um which is you know let me go ahead and get that. okay what i'm gonna do is to get our brochure uh-huh. i don't have one right in front of me and you said that was page seven, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to look at that, and I'm going to give you a call back. What would be a good time? Oh, really? I'll be home today, anytime today. They'll be fantastic. Okay. okay. I will call you What's back. your name again? My name is Linda. Okay. And, and Shirley is here with you. Oh, wonderful. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll talk more about it. Okay. Thank I you. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye-bye.